happy hand is not the answer. The free market and free minds are. Join the AmeriChicks discussion today from 5 to 6 p.m. Together, we are a movement. Denver's only female-hosted call-in talk show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks, Kim Monson and Molly Vogt, weekday afternoons at 5 on KDMT. Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And a fine, how do you do to you? I am doing fantastic. Are you? I totally am. Yeah, yes, we, uh, yes. we just did our uh, our Orange Theory Fitness workout at Parker and Arapahoe in Centennial, Colorado. And I'll tell you something, Angel. Um, when you skip one, you pay for it the next time. What do you mean? I hurt. <laughs> hmm, I'm like you have to put a little special yeah. offering in the basket before you go so. in. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, it was. Um, it was a great workout. Always is so, a great so workout. So, what was your Love lesson it. then that you learned today? Um, don't touch the calendar. Yeah, don't skip a workout. Don't skip a, don't workout. Skip a workout. And if you do skip a workout, don't skip the next one after the one you got back after catching up the one you skipped. <laughs> And if you do, don't tell the guy that you're going to see him on Thursday when you're not going to be there on Thursday. Yeah, we we are. We're I mean, not stay, really sure why the calendar is such an issue. I need to stay away from for, that. for Eric, but it it is really challenging. It's been very challenging for, for him this to week. just capture the whole concept of the calendar and what it's well, for and what it means. Okay, so yeah, this started yesterday, folks. When uh, uh, a friend of mine is coming back to Colorado, she's actually here now. And I wanted to take her out for brunch. Okay. And so I said, I'll take you out for brunch. It's probably two weeks ago. And she says, oh, that's lovely. That'd, that'd be great. So we set it up. And I thought, well, I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to find the brunch place. I'm going to take care of everything. <laughs> Might go on a date. Well, I overbooked. You overbooked. Yeah, I scheduled for this Sunday. And I will be hanging out with Gary Barnes at his uh, business breakthrough masterpiece, my master mastery mind. Book, book yes. Mastery book mastery book camp. Yes. I'm yes. going there. Yes. And so I realized that. Okay. The good news is I realized this yesterday. Oh, before Sunday yes. actually got here. Right? That is that is a mm-hmm. big step for you. So <laughs> <laughs> so I I, uh, I texted her real quick. I said, oh, I'm such a goof. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Here, let's uh, let, let's work on some other dates. And we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, the way that it always happens. And neither of the dates, the dates she chose I couldn't make, the dates I chose she couldn't make. I said, how about this? Let's do dinner. Okay. So we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, couldn't find any dates. So, And she's going to go back to Louisiana on July 7th. And I'm like, surely there must be a day. So we went back to an early morning breakfast, right? Okay. So we're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, landed on perfect Let's do Friday uh, for for early morning breakfast. I said, absolutely. I'm good with it. Good that. Put it in my calendar. Feeling very good about this whole you, thing. You put it I in did. the calendar? I put it in the calendar. So when you put it in the calendar, when you open up the calendar to see, is Friday available? Yeah. And you put it in the calendar. That's when I noticed that that's the beginning of Gary Barnes. Yeah, but, but before you mastery. go to put it in the calendar, was, and you're looking for gaps, you're looking yeah. for for space. Okay. So I, I don't, I can't show you. Actually, I can. I could show you my calendar, but I won't. Um, th- whoever put the, uh, the the conference that we're attending and and speaking at and hanging out with, uh, on, it only shows up on Friday. It doesn't show up on Saturday or Sunday, which is why I originally scheduled mm, for Sunday. Mm. I made oh, that probably, mistake. Probably, I made that mistake. because the person who put it in the calendar yeah. doesn't need no, that. No, I agree. I agree. <laughs> and it's not my color. And, and, uh, and, and, so and, and, I know and it's somebody else's color. You didn't, I didn't put it in I didn't put it in. Otherwise, right? it would have had a, a memory thing. <laughs> um, so I, I just came up. I, I was so embarrassed. I said, you know what? Just let's just stay away from the calendar. You know, if you don't want to see me, that's okay. No, I want to see you. So sh- we're going to go. Um, 
on on a Wednesday, not this Wednesday because I have a date, not a date. I have a an event. Um, we're going to go next Wednesday, right after she gets done with the doctor. She says uh, she's going to be drooling. Oh, she's the going dentist. to the dentist. Yeah. Okay. And but she says she's going to wear a smoking hot dress. And then I said, well, then we'll both be drooling, so it'll be okay. So it'll both be okay. Yeah. All right. Anybody else really struggle with the concept of the calendar? I mean, this is really something that. Let's see, eight years I think I've been working on with Eric um, on the calendar. And I've made is, progress. Come on. You, come on. You say that. You come, say that. Oh, you don't, really come do. On. You really say Throw that. Throw me a bone. So, How hard would it be to be nice to me about this? I've made progress. <laughs> come on. It's, this is one of those things. You either get it or you don't get it. Oh, right? I mean, do you get a rule. Do you get a middle? Like, I've made progress? It, I, I still overbook. That's, I still tell people I'll be there when I've got something you know else what? on the that, calendar. That, I still it. look that's, at the calendar Hold on for a second. when there's other stuff I should be doing. It, this is so Eric used to Let's give me it out. We're hugging it out. this really mm-hmm. hard time yep. about me being so structured and him being so spontaneous. It turns out he's not spontaneous at all. Just don't move his cheese. This is what he does every day. And and so coming up on Thursday, this is when I'll be at the gym. And usually on Fridays, this is so, you know when so, I'm open. But you throw something new in the in the mix for him. It happened again at the workout today. Totally, it totally derails said, him. Said to the trainer, "See you Thursday." Hmm. No, I won't. Doing the Biz Expo on Thursday. Our business Expo's on Thursday. Come I, see I us. Booth four sixteen uh-huh. and five eighteen. Four sixteen and five eighteen. Yes, we'll be at two different. Will booths. Will you be standing? at one and I'll be standing at the other and we'll wave to each other? If you make it. If, if you make it. If I you will make it. Make it. Right? I am getting better. I'm catching it before it happens. In many cases, oh, oh, days before it happens. Oh, okay. All right. Be that nice. is true. That is progress. You are catching it days before it happens. Yeah. You're right. I did. I do notice that rather than the day of mm-hmm. that it's double books. Okay. So did you hear the alarming news from the American Heart Association that There's says the coconut issue. oil is so bad for us. Yes. Did you hear that? Yes. Well, uh, you know, the timing couldn't be more perfect, I guess. Um, first of all, you've got to consider the source, like who funded this this study to talk about coconut oil. It's not healthy. I'm, it's never I'm been healthy. USA Today says. A pharmaceutical company who doesn't benefit from it. That's just my guess. <laughs> but the timing is I just started. I, I made the, over the weekend. And I, my very first ever bulletproof coffee. Are you oh, familiar no, with this you concept? Did it. I did it. <gasps> I know. You, you put you put, put butter, butter in and, your coffee and coconut oil, both. Oh my! I'm gonna, in I my am coffee. Going to hurl. In my coffee. So you I'm, did bulletproof coffee? Yeah, I've been. You know, I've got kind of three different people that I'm like piecemealing my little program my health health what about what about me health program into you're not one of them i should be you and that donut right there are definitely not one of them you totally ratted me out to who i already knew the i'm world. the only one they know you eat donuts they they are they are not surprised you're a bad girl that that eric has a donut you're a bad girl okay sorry i see a there's a box of donuts here in the kitchen. Eric may or may not have taken one. He hasn't eaten it. I haven't eaten it. He just has it like sitting there. I'm getting better. Taunting both of us. So anyway, it's kind of a mixture of paleo, ketosis, the Arbon 30-day challenge, you know, bulletproof diet, like all of this stuff, right? So my chiropractor wrote a book called The Nonstop Paleo Lifestyle. Correct. And he talks about the bulletproof coffee in in his book and talks like this whole thing so he's like angel you're gonna love it it's like a latte he says to me like a latte this is what he says to me latte magic word for angel because i drink a sugar bomb no white mocha magic word for chemical chemical storm uh chemical sugar storm right crazy of the white chocolate mocha so anyways i went to the store i bought my grass fred grass fed unsalted butter I got my extra virgin coconut oil, and you just take a scoop of Are butter. Are you flipping kidding me? And a scoop of coconut oil, and you just put it in your coffee. And I have one of those little stir things. Yeah, it goes the it's mechanical, and yeah. it goes and it froths yeah. all out. Froth. Right? It's a frother. Right. I did not put it in my blender because the one thing my blender says is do not put hot liquids in. It doesn't oh. say anything else on it. All right. Dishwasher safe. No, the not only for reason it says right. that no hot liquids top is because dishwasher. it'll come out the top and burn you. So, yeah. so I did not put hot no, liquids in, 
in my it one it gives me one instruction you have one. just one we asked you to do one one thing, thing. one thing <laughs> All right. okay right? so you play by the rules right so you always have here's uh here's what i'm thinking All right. about this bulletproof coffee All right. one yeah wasn't as, as bad as you'd think are you kidding wasn't as bad as you think Ugh. but two yeah i really feel like I have to drink it fast well, because if it was to settle or cool or anything, <laughs> it would coagulate. It I don't would, know. It would solidify. I, I think it might. To the I think top. it might, might separate. Have you? Because you know, I did the turmeric. You've done that turmeric yeah, golden that, milk. That's right? a suspension. That, right? that doesn't And dissolve. then all the cinnamon and the turmeric just mm-hmm. like comes to the top, and you're like stirring drink, stirring yeah. drink, stirring drink. Yeah, that's a suspension. It doesn't dissolve. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it, it's not good. It's we, not good to, we to have go. it separate. We got to go to a quick commercial break, but folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk right after that. That is so gross. Do you do bulletproof coffee? Let us know in the comments. Ugh. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Grows Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencebros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. As a small business owner, your focus should be on your customers and providing a great customer experience. You shouldn't be investing time and energy on bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes, but somebody has to do it. Trust Teresa and her team at Luna's Accounting and Tax. Teresa and her team will take care of all your bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes. They'll keep you informed and streamline the process. Luna's Accounting and Tax keeps your business compliant and up-to-date, and they'll give you the great customer experience your customers have come to expect. Free your time and gain the peace of mind to keep your focus on your customers they will help you too. call teresa at luna's accounting and tax today 720-323-4917 720-323-4917 720-323-4917 or visit lunastax.com that's lunastax.com that's lunastax.com se habla espanol you never planned on getting injured in an accident. You don't know where to turn. Call Boson Law. When you meet with John Boson, you'll know right away you've made the right decision. John will put you at ease and explain the whole process start to settlement. He'll handle medical bills, work directly with the insurance company, and help you get back on your feet. John and his whole staff are amazing. If your whole world's been turned upside down, Boson Law will help turn it right side up. It starts with a free consultation, no money out of the pocket, and Boson Law only gets paid when they win your case. If you're hurt, the call Call is easy, and their number is two. Call Boson Law at 303-999-9999, 303-999-9999, 303-999-9999, or visit bosonlaw.com. That's B-O-E-S-E-N law.com. Call Boson Law, 303-999-9999, or visit bosonlaw.com. That's B-O-E-S-E-N law.com. Celebrating 18 years as the leader in investing and trading education. Following your system has been fantastic. Yeah, I really appreciate the work you do. You're, you're really an inspiration. Well, all of the tools you've put together for us have just given us so much confidence. I have learned so much. It is absolutely incredible. You're really one of the best I've ever heard. I've been with you for about a month and a half now, and I'm already up 7%. Financial education is, in many respects, the most important education you can get, and that's what they're getting from your show. You guys have always been great on the service side. I have so much more confidence in when I'm in my trading. Phil, keep up the good work. I love the chart. I've been in this business for 45 years, and you are the best. And I've been following you, I guess, about nine months right now, and you've just done a great job. Listen to Phil, join the gang, and you'll never regret it. If you're serious about securing your financial future, then contact philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Tired of paying high energy bills? Gravina Windows and Siding at 950 West Evans in Denver can help. Replace those old worn-out windows. Huge selection. Anderson Fibrex, Pella, Great Lakes, and more. Over 50 lines of vinyl, wood, and fiberglass windows and doors. Check out our composite window, the EcoSmart. It's up 
to 100% more energy efficient. Lifetime manufacturer's warranty. Our glass package is at least three to five times more energy efficient with a glass breakage warranty and free re-screening. Gravina Windows and Siding in Denver is accredited by the BBB with an A-plus rating. Over 100,000 customers and counting. Financing's available. Larry Gravina serving the front range for over 44 years with my family. Free estimates. Metro Denver call 303 Gravina. Northern Colorado call 970-G-R-A-V-I-N-A and we'll come to you. Gravina has the greatest windows. Nobody beats us. Nobody. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. This is how that works, folks. You are correct. Listener Robert, Bulletproof Coffee sounds like torture. (laughs) He posted on the comments, and we are interacting with him live on the show. I will tell you, I have tried some really odd concoctions. We'll have to do a whole, you know, I should start making a list of all the weird health and wellness things that I have tried. Yeah. Um, But that is not what this segment is about. No, it is not. Because we have Professor Eli Delaney, your automated marketing architect from your marketing university. Check him out online. We've actually got a pretty special deal at ymurocks.com slash experience pros. Let me ask you this. If you create some content and nobody reads it, did it ever exist in the first place? Wow. Ooh, Eli Delaney, welcome to Experience Pros. Eli, are you the tree or the forest? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how to answer that. <laughs> not sure how to answer it. Well, <laughs> you're the one that posed the, the question. If, if, uh, no, or, he didn't or, pose oh, the question. I, I posed oh, the question. Oh, that was you. No, that was me. Did it exist after all? Right? Yeah, right? we're going to talk about if you want more, you know, how to educate your customers. But I asked the question, if you create content and nobody ever sees it, did it exist in the first place? And so that's where the forest for the trees comment <laughs> came from. Eli, welcome. We're so glad you're here. It is always a pleasure to come and hang out with you guys. It's one of my favorite things to do every month. Uh, thank you so very much. All right, so uh, content. Content is king. We've, we're, we're, we're providing content. Why is it if we're putting out a new blog every day, a new video every day, a new story, new content, why are so many businesses still struggling? The real simple answer to that is that they're putting out – Stuff that sounds like a pitch, quite honestly. And it's an issue that I see more and more going on all the time where business owners, are, are know, they know they need to put more content out. So they're doing Facebook, um, Facebook Lives and YouTube videos and blog posts and all these different things. But the problem is that it ends up being nothing but a pitch about how awesome they are and how awesome their products are. And there's not enough real content versus buy my stuff. Mm. And we see that and it is it is like a rolling scroll down you your Facebook page of look at me, look at me, look at me. And then we spend so much time and you can see a lot of times it looks like people spend a lot of time, they put a lot of effort into right. this and and they're not seeing the results. But I remember I remember Eli, we once had somebody come and do a presentation at an experience pros event. And we said, it's not salesy. Mm-hmm. It's all, you know, it's sharing. It's all information. It's education. And it was a full blown sales pitch. The guy could not, he's like, that wasn't, that wasn't helpful. That wasn't, that was, that was too salesy. It was, <laughs> it was like, he could he not know. get, he, <laughs> if, if I got an audience, I got to tell him what I do for some people sharing and selling are the same thing. Right. And I've got that. I see that with clients that I work with all the time because I help clients work with their email copy and how they can communicate more effectively. And I've had people who they're, they write emails or they'll write a message or work on a presentation and they'll have me take a look at it. And I look at it and I'm like, okay, this entire thing is a pitch. You need to educate and build a relationship first about 
you know, where you are and how you can help them without just saying, hey, this is the answer to everything and you should buy it and here we're having a special today. You know, it's just a feeling about the way you put your content out there that really makes a big difference as to whether people see it as a pitch or they see it as you truly actually caring about them and wanting to help them. Mm -hmm. So do you have some tips on maybe words that we should eliminate or phrases we should use instead or just how do we get that shift because i i think that people think well i'm just letting you know that you need this thing and this yeah. thing is that this is the widget that helps and this when you did it your life's gonna right. be better faster easier right well as a perfect example I'll, I'll share something that i do a lot when i share with people and i educate them on on how you know how i work with people but most importantly I'm giving them something of value. So let's say I'm at a networking event and I meet somebody and they're brand new in business and they're trying to figure out how they can get more clients. I might say, hey, have you tried this yet? And I give them an idea of a little bit of a strategy of something that they could do. And nine times out of 10, they're like, oh man, that's awesome. Thank you so much. So what is it you do? And I'm like, well, I do stuff like that on a bigger scale and I help clients with their stuff. you know. And so at that point, all I did was I gave them something of value a tip, a trick, you know, right now, perfect example, not with me is that we're all starting to have a heat wave. I have, I have a whole bunch of friends in the Phoenix area, which is where I used to live and they're breaking all kinds of records right now. And so if I were in the AC world, 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 start sharing with people videos on the things you need to know or the things you need to do to make sure that your air conditioner doesn't break in, in this 120 degree weather. Right. And Here's the fun thing. There are, there are very simple little things like, you know, change out your air filter or clean your air filter or have your air ducts cleaned once every quarter or whatever, whatever those things are. And I'm just saying a couple of them that I think come to mind. I'm not in the AC business, so I don't know the actual but answer. Eli, but if if couple, you were in the AC business, wouldn't it uh -huh. be good for business if you let it break? It would, but that would I would personally call that a little on the unethical side. I would much rather always in any industry be there to help the customer save their situation, put the pain out, you know, get rid of the pain. And if I can help them by saying, here's how you can make this last better, I would much rather have that customer. It's that's an ethical thing more than anything else. If you're, if, if somebody listening in happens to be that one person, because I think there's probably maybe one, I doubt anybody else in your, your audience would think this would be, hey, it would be better for me to let them just have it break so then I can get the whole new unit put up there. Yeah, <laughs> I think you should rethink your, your values of life first. Right. You know, I, you know, I personally would much rather say, okay, how can I help you make this better? And even if there is a problem, can we fix it until it can be replaced later? Right. This is an abundant right. mindset. And I think it is a real shift in how we sell. Eli, let's have our listeners get in touch with you. You've got good stuff. And I know you've got a workshop that they can sign up for um, on that ymurocks.com slash experience pros website. Tell us a little bit about that. You've got 30 seconds, though. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> All right. This is a workshop that I do quite a bit. Um, there's several dates to pick from, and it's how to package your thoughts, your ideas, and your products to give you something to give those people a bit of value before they have to actually buy something from you, which builds your credibility. It's a free workshop. I love doing it. I love educating people, and I'd love to have you come join me. All right. Well, I love that you love it, and we're going to love it together. Eli, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate you. We'll chat with you again next week. And by the way, you are the tree, and yes, we heard you fall. It's going to be fine. <laughs> All right, pal. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. Some laws were meant to be broken, but not the one we're going to talk about in our next segment. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business.
The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate. Weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you $250. I know, it sounds crazy, giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325. Or to find out more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. Dad, name some good reasons for our listeners to select Ravina's windows. I'll tell you why. We make it so simple for our customers to shop. We have everything. Vinyl windows, wood windows, fiberglass windows, double pane, triple pane, heat mirror, argon gas, krypton gas, bays, bows, garden windows, patio doors, everything. How about colors? Pick what you want. Brown, green, blue, red, whatever. It's never been so easy, and nobody beats us. Nobody. Stop by our beautiful showroom, bring in your measurements, and we'll give you 10% off. Only at Gravina's, 950 West Evans in Denver. Call us at 303 Gravina, Northern Colorado, called 970-G-R-A-V-I-N-A. Best deal in town. Call Gravina's at, no, it's Gravina's. Call 303 Gravina. Or in Northern Colorado, 970-G-R-A-V-I-N-A. Or visit their beautiful showroom at 950 West Evans. And remember, Gravinas have the greatest windows. Nobody beats us. Nobody. This is Dan Kaplis. Our firm is dedicated to always being on the leading edge of the practice of personal injury law. That includes game-changing, next-generation technology, nationally respected experts, and innovative visual tools that help us bring our client's case to life for the purposes of settlement or, if necessary, trial. We only accept a limited number of cases, so we're able to devote to each client our full arsenal of technology, skilled attorneys, and staff. We are a serious firm for serious cases, and we make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. If you'd like to talk with me about your case, just give me a call or email me through our website. There's no charge for an initial consultation. 303-770-5551, 303-770-5551, or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com. Get ready for the Brakes Plus Jet Car Nationals and Family Festival, Saturday, July 1st at Vandermeer Speedway. Enjoy drag racing, games, rides, live music, and a special troop salute to honor our brave men and women serving America. You'll have the best seat in Colorado for fireworks, set to inspirational and patriotic music. And don't forget the incredible power and speed of jet cars flying down the track at nearly 300 miles per hour. The Brakes Plus Jet Car Nationals and Family Festival, Saturday. Saturday, July 1st. Get discounted tickets at the Bandamere Speedway box office or at bandamere.com. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. Like I uh, teased up on uh, at the beginning of or the end of the last segment, some laws are meant to be broken, but the law of success, we should listen up. 
We absolutely should. You're probably very familiar with Napoleon Hill's work. And for many entrepreneurs, it's a must read. He is a must read for all of us. He's been praised and followed by a medley of influential figures in his earliest text, the Law of Success contains a complete and comprehensive study of, study of the principles that most famous and successful individuals in America have in common. The new book, which is, it is a biggie. It's it like the is. Bible for business. Right. It's called The Law of Success Deluxe Edition. It's the perfect guide for new graduates and any of us looking to step into a new position, whether it be in a new field or as a self-made success. I've got the editor of the new book, The Law of Success, a deluxe edition, Mitch Horowitz, vice president and executive editor at Penguin Random House, where he publishes authors, live dead. Mitch Horowitz, welcome to Experience Pros. Thank you. Glad to be here. Mitch, very nice to have you along with us. Let's start with this. Is there really such a thing as the law of success or is it just to sell books? There really is. You know, Napoleon Hill made a very intensive study of common traits that could be found in the lives of exceptional people. And he came to feel that whatever your aims in life, whether you're an artist or a soldier or a teacher or entrepreneur, there are certain traits that will serve as a kind of magnetic north that deliver you to some sort of exceptional achievement. So it's not inflated to say it's a law. Barring some unusual countervailing force, there are certain traits you can follow that will lead you to some sort of distinction in your field. Okay, right, so right. Think and Grow Rich, I have every ebook version. I have it on audio. <laughs> I have a paperback hey, that is I've had the last pretty dog eared, yeah. right? And we know that there's there have been several releases. And so when we think about the law of success and we think of Napoleon Hill, we think about the Think and Grow Rich. When we talk about the yep. law of success, is there a lot of a lot of redundancy in the law of success from Think and Grow Rich? Think and Grow Rich is really the book that he made into a digest in um, it, it, Think and Grow Rich, rather, is a digest of the law of success. The law of success was his first book, came out in 1928. It's probably 300, 400,000 words. It's much longer than Think and Grow Rich. And yet, if you want to get a really comprehensive treatment of some of the ideas that he explores in Think and Grow Rich, including some that he also edited out, uh, it, it is a wonderful resource because it really is the book that in digest form became Thinking mm. We're Rich. So this yeah. is kind of a master class in the whole thing. It is it is quite yeah. the book. How much fun did you have editing that and putting that together? I think you didn't you didn't take anything out. Nothing out. It's completely unabridged as you would have encountered it back in 1928. In fact, when he first published it, he released it in as a 16 volume multi book series. So you had to subscribe by mail and you would receive a, a hardcover book uh, once every few weeks in your mailbox. So it was treated as a correspondence course. And I took an original set of that uh, 16 volume first edition course. And without removing anything, uh, redesigned it and distilled it into this hardcover deluxe edition. So you actually get the feel of what the original course felt like back in the day. Wow. I, I love it. Angel and I uh, received a, a copy uh, in, in preparation for this interview. And we just looked at it and thought, oh, my goodness, that's much larger than the one I read. Uh, and, and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it's beautiful. And, and uh, Thank you, you. you should be well proud of the work that you've done. So uh, wide distribution, where are we going with this? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can get it anywhere. Just the other day, actually, some somebody wrote a, a beautiful letter to somebody in our customer service department saying how much he loved the book and it was indestructible and it was a lifetime keepsake. And I wrote back to him to thank him and found out that he was in London. So he had picked it up there. You, you can buy it anywhere, um, nice. whether you buy your books online or from brick and mortar. Um, it's 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 everywhere. Isn't it amazing? You know, here's a book. Here's an author. You know, 1928 published yeah. Think and Grow Rich, and it is still today so relevant in business. How? How has this stood the test of time? 
You know, it's remarkable. The technology has changed. Obviously, certain economic conditions and circumstances have changed, but human nature is remarkably the same. And this is really a book about human nature. It's about how we can determine uh, steps and methods and arrive at habits that cultivate exceptional performance and how we can avoid traps that will absolutely derail us when we're trying to accomplish something. You know, what he really did was he sat down and asking himself very shrewd, careful questions about human nature, came to conclusions about the things we do that are effective and the things we do that are self-defeating when we set out to accomplish a goal. And, you know, in, in the in the nearly 100 years that have passed, human nature has remained remarkably constant. <laughs> well, well Isn't said. that amazing? Yeah. Mitch, uh, do us a favor. You know, there are some listeners who are probably tuning in for the very first time and or have never heard of Napoleon Hill and his work, believe it or not. Uh, what are some of those traps? Give us just an example of a trap that Napoleon Hill a hundred years ago pulled up and said, you know something, beware of this because this is a derailer. The chief trap that he identified was procrastination, and he he nailed it in that he understood that procrastination is really an expression of fear. And when you hear people talk about starting something and they never seem to get around to it and their whole lives seem to be just a story of unfinished projects, that's really fear speaking. And he said procrastination is the one thing that you will find present every time somebody fails to complete a project. I was going to get around to that. (laughs) he's he's very witty a little later the book is called (laughs) the law of success deluxe edition published by penguin random house we have the editor mitch horowitz with us it is in its original form just as napoleon hill would have wanted you to read it so if you know anybody who's graduating just starting on their career or maybe you just want a little boost in the career path that you've been on. This is definitely the book for you. It is a keeper. It it is it is the it is. We get a lot of books, yeah. Mitch. This we is one of the of, ones we don't give up. Yes, and we yeah. we do I appreciate that. Pass most of them along, but this one this is definitely a keeper for us as well. Mitch, final thought for our listeners today. The chief law that Napoleon Hill identified to attain success is having a definite aim, one that you feel absolutely passionate about. He said that was the starting point for all achievement, and one should never underestimate that. Mm, Good, solid, all the way. Author, speaker, publisher, Mitch Horowitz. Uh, If you want more information about Mitch and to connect with him, go to MitchHorowitz.com. That's MitchHorowitz.com. And don't forget to pick up the uh, copy of the book, and that is the Law of Success Deluxe Edition. Mitch, thanks for joining us, man. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. I think you missed his calling. I hit that voice. Wow. Yeah, he could do radio. Right? He could definitely do radio. I think he just did. Um, yeah. Um, well, well, and we've actually had uh, Penguin Random House on sure. on the Experience Press Radio Show. They publish a lot of the great uh, must read books for entrepreneurs and business Absolutely. professionals. I'm such a professional development junkie. I love all of that stuff. When I said that I've got every version on ebook, I do. Um, and, and I've got it on audio. It's one of my favorites to listen to. And it's one, it just, it, it stands the test of time. Yes. It just stands the test of time. And so, so much of our success comes from our thoughts. Because our thoughts become our words and our words become our actions. Absolutely. And the thoughts, a lot of have come from the books we read, yep. the people we associate with, the, the radio shows we listen to, the music we listen to, what we put in helps develop all of those all of those thoughts. And well, so it is super powerful. Super powerful. Uh, the law of success, think and grow rich. I'm, uh, I'm actually working through uh, Outwitting the Devil, all Napoleon Hill uh, books. And we had uh, the Outwitting the Devil uh, editor, Sharon Lecter, on the program a little while ago. Uh, great book. Anything with Napoleon Hill, just solid. It will uh, it will stand the test of time. <laughs> love it. I love it. You want to know what else is going to stand the test of time? Sure. 
growing your business, surrounding yourself with a community of successful people. And that's yes. what we provide at experiencepros.com. Plug in, check us out. You can join us at one of our networking events or even sign up to be part of our online network at experiencepros.com. And when we come back, we're going to give away something. So stick around, turn up the volume and get your cell phones handy. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Do you own a small business? Do you want free access to the biggest business networking event of the year? Check out Small Business Expo. It's free to attend and features more than 25 free business workshops, panel discussions, speed networking sessions, business card showcase, and over 100 exhibits. Gain leads and network with business experts, including Allstate, Wells Fargo, and Zip Local. There's something for everyone at the Small Business Expo. The Small Business Expo is the largest and most anticipated business-to-business networking event trade show and conference for business owners, entrepreneurs, and decision makers. If you're serious about your business, this expo is a must-attend event. Startups and business owners can take advantage of free admission and educational workshops covering online, social media marketing, employee benefit plans, credit and financing, strategies for increasing revenue and team productivity, mentoring, cloud technologies, retirement plans, and much more. Don't miss the Denver Small Business Expo at the Denver Convention Center on Thursday, June 22nd from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Register for free today at the Small Business Expo. Expo.com. That's the small business expo.com. Be there. Hi, this is Dave Anthony. Tune in to the Retirement Income Planning Show Saturday at 8 a.m. to learn about how you can create an efficient and optimized retirement income plan that looks at your investments, taxes, health care, social security, Medicare, home equity, and estate planning needs. Learn about the math and science that goes into creating a truly comprehensive retirement income plan that could save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement. Call 800 868 9585 Again, that's 800 868 9585 or online at theretirementincomeshow.com. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. Do you have a family? Would you like to help make sure they'll be taken care of if anything were to happen to you? If you answered yes, you probably need life insurance. Now, do you think life insurance is expensive? If you answered yes to that too, you definitely need to give AIG Direct a call. We could find you a quarter of a million dollar policy for just $14 a month, which means you could save hundreds of dollars a year. Call us now for a free, no obligation quote. 1-800-400-5008. Since 1995, we've helped millions of people find out if they could save up to 70% on their term life insurance. See how affordably we can help you protect your family. Call AIG Direct now for your free quote. 1-800-400-5008. You could save up to 70%. That's 1-800-400-5008. 1-800-400-5008. The summer heat will be here before you know it. Don't wait until it hits the 90s to test that old system of yours. Now's a great time to upgrade the old system to a new energy-efficient carrier infinity system. Call Steel T Heating now and receive up to $2,500 in XL and carrier rebates. You must schedule this now, though, as installation dates will fill up fast. Get more comfortable in your home than you've ever been before and save money while doing it. Steel T is a family-owned business since 1979 with over 50,000 satisfied customers. Largest factory-authorized carrier dealer and the only hall of fame winner in colorado zero unresolved complaints with the better business bureau in over 25 years turn to the experts at steel t heating and air conditioning now at 303-761 warm or visit us at steel remember the t stands for trust let the professionals at steel t inspect your system and pinpoint minor issues quickly before they graduate into more extensive and expensive issues call 303-761 warm that's 303-761-9276 or visit steel This is Michael Medved for townhall.com. For 60 years, Gallup has asked about public attitudes toward faith, giving respondents a clear choice with the question, do you believe that religion can answer all or most of today's problems or that religion is largely old-fashioned and out of date? In 1957, 82% expressed confidence in religious solutions, while only 11% considered faith old-fashioned. Today, the margin is much closer, but Americans still think religion has the answers, 55% to 34%. Among those who say they seldom or never go to church, a full third still think that religion can solve contemporary problems. And among Democrats, a plurality agrees that faith has the answers all people seek. Even among those who consider themselves 
political liberals and those who never participate in public worship. There's still a lingering suspicion that faith-based solutions benefit individuals and society. Believers should never write off America as a secularized, godless, lost cause. I'm Michael Medved. Keep our schedule full, seasonal incentives? Oh yeah. Hi, Dan Cicchini, Dunright Home Improvements. Now is the time to call and save a full 12% off all services for select install needs. 800-362-8370 or drhi.com. Psst, it's me, your heart. High blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Just treat me better. After all, we're in this together. To get your high blood pressure to a healthy range, visit heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is America's home for positive business talk. And if you happen to listen by way of uh, our home market here in Denver, Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM has your tickets to the Brakes Plus Jet Car Nationals and Family Festival at Bandemir Speedway on Saturday, July 1st. You can watch jet cars fly down the track at nearly 300 miles an hour and stay after the race for a salute to the troops, patriotic music, the best fireworks in town. Call number five at 303-632-4160 is going to win a family four-pack of tickets to attend the Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM Jet Car Nationals at Bandabir at Bandamere Speedway. Who wants them? Caller number five. Here's the number again: 303-632-4160. Go. That's right. We are giving away a family four pack. It is for the July first event. If you have not been there, don't miss out. If you've been there, you know that this oh, is such an awesome family absolutely. deal. Yeah, the the jet car is going down. There's lots of fun activities. It is a full family festival. 303-632-4160 to caller number five. Okay. I love giving these things away. It, it's such a, an amazing day. It is super yeah. fun. It is, a, it is a great event, too. And if you've been, you know what we're talking oh, about. When those jet cars line up, I mean, they they like rock the ground. <laughs> it, it is it, super fun. Yeah. It is super fun. Eric, I, I, found, I found something for you. You found something for me? Yes. We started- is she tall and blonde? No. Oh. No, she's not even a short brunette because apparently uh, that doesn't work either. Uh, but I, you know, we were talking about the calendar, the calendar. Oh. No, I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying for years. I, I hurt you. Yeah, but but we're trying to teach you how to use a calendar. Oh, calendar. We're trying to teach you how okay. to use All right. a scheduling system. Right. Whereas you put your appointments and, mm-hmm. and your work and your projects in the calendar yeah. so that it gets done. I've been trying to keep you from drinking butter. Well, I just started drinking butter. I just started it, but I do feel like I've got to drink it really fast so that it doesn't get icky. Um, but it's not, it's not, it's not as bad as you would think. I thought it was going to be all this oily. Although your lips do feel a little no, moisturized no, no. Don't do after. That. Don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, See how easy it is to get you off track. <laughs> I found from the get it done guy. The get it done guy. The get it done guy. There's right. a there's a guy called the get it done Google guy. It, get it done. And he, he he has some tips for how to use your calendar effectively. Because Eric Eric still struggles. Eric's in the room with the concept. You don't have of, to talk about how, him in the third person. A, how a calendar actually works. And so number one from the get it done guy. Okay. He says commit to one central calendar, the master schedule. So every time you schedule something. It goes into the master schedule. We have that. Yes. 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 So, so this is this is good. This I should is a be good committed. start. Yeah. Yes. Right. So you're not broken. No. Right. Multiple calendars. Nope. We put it all in one, yeah. so you get to see it all. So when when I first uh, met Angel, she was a Franklin Planner girl, and she said one calendar to rule them all, and it was true. And then everybody had, you know, their digital cameras and or the calendars and their paper calendars and their big wall calendars and the one on their desk. And she said, no, 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 one. Now, because Google, that's a complete sentence. Because Google? Yes. <laughs> because Google. Because period. Google, <laughs> we have six calendars in one. All right. 
Yes. Yeah, so all the calendars yeah. are all together. Yes. All right. So here's here's what the get it done guy says. All right. He says your calendar time frame matters. And so he says um, at a glance, you know, it doesn't show, you know, the whole day. If he doesn't put the event in for the whole day, then it really messes him up. Okay. Um, also, also the before the event and the after event, you have to pay attention to the before what's happening before the event and what's happening after the event. And so if you just pull up the day of, for example, when you were going to plan to meet your friend on Friday morning for breakfast, if you just pull up the day of, then, then you might not see because the calendar doesn't really show all the hours it doesn't show all that you were so going to be consumed. You so you kind of have to look at what's happening before. So if you would right. have looked at 830 in the morning and yeah. you would have looked at the what's happening before 830 in the morning, right. you would have seen that would have been the problem, the Gary Barnes mm-hmm. or perhaps the after, yeah. um, you know, and I, now Gary Barnes wasn't on here. That, no, that's that right, wasn't, though. but, but you have I'm to not using that as an excuse. I am challenged in the, in the count calendar. Area. Right. And so if you're using a week at a glance view or a month at a glance view, often the screen is too small right. to really see any appointment details on surrounding days. And so even, even in a morning, you should look at the day before, are you traveling? Are you going to be out late that night? Um, you know, and even later on that day, is that really a, it might only be in the calendar showing up for an hour, but is it is it an all day event? And so, paying attention to the time frames right. of the of the surrounding appointments. Yes, ma'am. I think that's the piece that that, I, that I, you miss. I, I'm so focused. You know what I'm focused on right now? I don't. Daniel Graham. Because I know it's not here. No, and what I I'm am. talking about, I can totally tell. I am totally you are not into. Here. No, you're I am listening. Here. I know you're listening. I'm listening. We're talking to the calendar. Not, I need to look what's focused. before. You're not I need to look what's me. after. You're I need to make on, sure what's going on. I know you're listening, but, but you're not focused. Winner. We have a winner. And that makes me excited. Daniel Graham is the winner for the Bandemir uh, Jet Car Nationals and a family day on a family festival at Bandemir Speedway on Saturday, July 1st. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. That's going to be super fun. That is a super, super fun day. So congratulations to you, Daniel. Eric, do I have your attention back? Yes, ma'am. I'm right here. All right. So then and you have to use the notes inside the calendar. The notes inside the calendar. So inside the calendar, Mm -hmm. it asks you where. Where? I do. Right. And it might ask you for details. Put the details into the notes section of the calendar so that you have where and all of that and here's so when even when you're looking at the before and after you make an appointment that's downtown and then you've got to be the other side of town you've got to allow for some little wiggle room traffic traffic in there too so let me make a quick correction i didn't mean to to disconnect but it's donald graham donald graham sorry was the winner daniel we're sorry daniel Daniel, you did not win you can try again tomorrow daniel (laughs) <laughs> Donald, you won. Donald, I'm not sure it was Donald, not um, Daniel. Well, Don is telling me it was me it that was won me. the tickets. Oh, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we'll correct that over in the studio in a minute. We got to take a quick top of the hour break. I'm focused on Angel right now. No, he is I not. Am. He is not. Congratulations, Don. We'll be back right after this. This is the Experience Pros Radio Station, America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolution. And Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDNT, Arvada, Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM.
Business never takes a break. Neither do we. So take Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM with you with our brand new mobile app. Stay up to the minute with breaking news, market strategies, current trends, and more wherever you are. With live streaming, listen to your favorite Money Talk shows whenever you want on demand. It's like a personal advisor in your pocket. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Download the brand new Money Talk app on iTunes or the Google Play Store or at moneytalk1690.com. Every summer, hundreds of homes experience hail damage. Did you know that you should have your roof inspected when a hailstorm hits? If hail is large enough, your roof may be damaged. Sometimes hail damage cannot be viewed from below, so do not wait for your roof to start leaking. Get a free inspection today and make sure insurance will approve your claim. Trust the locals. Trust American West. Call today for more information at 303-364-3647. That's 303-364-3647. Or visit A westroofs.com you're listening to the experience pros radio show the most positive business talk show in america best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the extreme customer service directory angel tussie and eric raymer are inspiring you to get your business right they know the customer experience isn't just another thing it's the only thing Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer helping you get your business right. We do that by reminding you that small business is big business. Your business is our business. And I find how do you do to you uh, just at the uh, uh, before we went to the break at the top of the hour here, uh, we were talking about calendars and and what uh, one guy's uh, the get it done guy's advice was you're trying to help me figure out the whole calendar thing i'm throwing shade at what the get it done guy you don't think he's getting it done his name is stever 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 robbins you're making get fun it, of his the name. The get it done guy's name is Stever. I am guessing his name is not Stever, but Stever. probably all of his friends and buddies and Stever probably Robbins. his entire, entire family mm-hmm. calls him Stever. Nope, Stever is his name. And and so because his name is Stever, you can't. What what's the, where's the breakdown? B i n g o. Where's the breakdown Stever, for you? Stever doesn't know. What you don't take you don't take uh, suggestions from this this dark haired girl named Angel do mm. are you kidding me uh, uh. i do everything that dark haired girl <laughs> angel says to do i do everything no man in the history of the world has changed more okay, than i have so, to so, live in angel's world other than his name yeah what about his advice did do you have issues with i don't know you don't know no i think i just you, you, you lost me at Stever. At Stever. I didn't. I didn't tell you his name. I know. I googled him. <laughs> I googled the get it done guy because and Google came up with Stever Robbins because Google. Because it's Google. a complete sentence, right? And so, so the get it done guy uh-huh. says, keep a master calendar. Right. Pay attention to the time frames. Yes. Use the notes inside that. What's the problem here? Well, it was only three out of the nine. I, oh, I know. I, I didn't I, like all those other ones. You didn't like the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> See, they don't fit in Angel's world. I all didn't right. send the article to you. I just pieced I together the pieces I wanted you to know. I Googled him. <laughs> Stever. My, my, my middle name is it's Steven. Steven. But I think we're going to call you Stever. Well, you know, you have a huh? if you have a nickname that your parents called you. No, no. And we could have actually, no, 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 we no. could start adopting that. Don't do in this. our intros do not, and on our blogs do not do and this. everywhere else we go. I mean, inappropriate. We, is it inappropriate? Mm-hmm. Throw on the flag. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I was just trying to help. Just trying to help you, you. be a little bit more uh, organized. Use your calendar. because Trying cause to help me be a little more like you. Turns out you already are. I know. Right. You are. I'm in a routine. Right? You're in a routine. I have a routine. Yeah. And he, you know, it's Eric Tuesday. Was I'll always, see you next Thursday. Always um, big into I'm spontaneous. Angel, you're too structured. But it turns out the one that is so structured that is really, and I loved it. I embraced it. I'm all about my routine. But Eric, 
you know, wants to shake things up and be shake spontaneous. It but turns out he's not really fighting against me being against you. structured. You're fighting against the inner structure inside of you that really exists. Oh, my God. How do you take an opening monologue, dialogue, and turn it into a psychoanalysis? Did I do that? <laughs> Did I give our hashtag kindness act of the day? You have not, but I can't wait to hear it. I meant to do this in the first hour, right. but it never came up. Uh, the hashtag kindness act of the day <laughs> is to buy from a kid's lemonade stands. Always buy from Yeah, if, if you drive lemon- past a lemonade stand, stop. Yeah. And, and buy something. Right? So keep, keep some quarters in your... No, in- they don't make change. Don't keep quarters. Give them a dollar. Give them two dollars. Give them a five. I know. I don't ever have Throw cash. down a Benjamin and make some guy an entrepreneur. Some little girl. I'm going to have to edit my hashtag kindness act of the day. Throw down a Benjamin at the next kid's lemonade stand. Why not? That would. All right. Okay. You will, you will, you will turn a a little girl, a little boy into an entrepreneur. And uh, listen to Robert. Thank you very much. I need to lay down on the couch and get some. (sighs) Yeah, we have, we have help. I know. Right here within the experience pros network. We absolutely do. Um, We have actually very good professional help. Maybe it's time. (laughs) Maybe it's time. time. I'm going to edit the post. Throw down a Benjamin. Throw down a Benjamin. Throw down a Mm Benjamin. How do you spell that? (laughs) Benjamin. (laughs) Good Lord. All right. There you go. There you go. That's my hashtag kindness act of the day. Make somebody an entrepreneur today. Help somebody else inspire people what we do makes such a difference and our actions and our thoughts and imagine if uh, if you did that you were like their kickstarter their angel investor and how that would come back how that could come back around or how that could inspire somebody i know for for eric and i some of our early days in business heck the only reason we survived the only reason Right. It was because somebody helped us out That's because right. somebody, somebody poured into us either an idea, uh, some assistance, some resources, mentorship, money. They, you know, I mean, there was, there was a whole lot of, let me help you. Let me help you. And, right. and, and it was, we received it graciously, um, you know, because we're all struggling yes. and, and somebody has probably offered you help. And so often we allow pride, our pride of going, you know what? I got this. Right. I, I got this. People say, what do you need? You know what? I'm good. You're not good. You're not good. Somebody needs to tell you you're not good. <laughs> I mean, listener, you might be good. But... Listener Diane agrees with us and says, be generous to the kids. Uh, I love it. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Just hashtag be generous to the kids. Hashtag be generous to yeah. the kids. And and let's be generous to each other. Yep. And, well and think about, I mean, we're all kids at heart. Right. We all we all still have dreams. We all want to just play. We all want to get along. We all want to hang out with our friends and do fun things. I was saying to Eric, you know, it's like whatever we do, it should be fun. We should should enjoy it because here's some dark times. Right. And there's a lot of struggle. I heard, heard somebody else this morning say that there are far more people that are hurting than there are people willing to help the hurting isn't that the truth and you know when you think about the numbers like that and here we've got a mission here at experience pros to change the way people treat people and we say it's in business but it it flows out into everything else there's so much negativity there's so much strife there's so much hurting and we can make a difference so lift somebody up kindness act of the day pay it forward lift people up help each source when you spend money and pour out into, yep. it comes back. Absolutely. It always does. Throw down a Benjamin. And every time, you know, but when we hold on tight and we got our fist closed so tight because we're holding, and we can't be generous and we can't, you know, give to others, then we can't receive either. And, and so you want to build your business. You want to create this amazing brand. I think it starts with generosity. Absolutely, generosity and reciprocity. The uh, the the law of reciprocity is is uh, basically you know when someone does something nice for you, you do uh, you do something nice in return. Uh, but just somebody's got to start it. Yes. And so be the person who starts the, uh, the the law of reciprocity and keep it going. If you weren't the person who started, I think that's a 
That's great advice all the way around. Well, there, and all stemmed from our kindness act of the day. And my calendar in episode. And and so yeah, so back to that. Yes. <laughs> I've set you up. Yeah. With a master calendar. Right. And you know how to put things in it. Yeah. Um, and and I I think this is a lesson. How old are you now? Don't. Right? What? I just think that it's time. I just think it's time that you embrace the Franklin planner nest that really resides inside of you, Eric. I do embrace I think, it. No, I think you're fighting it. I'm not fighting I it. I think you are. And, as, and it shows as up. I try to it embrace shows it. Up. No, I think it shows up in this rebellious <laughs> way of a teenager saying, I don't want to be shut into a box or, you know, wrapped up into a schedule or into a calendar. And I am, I think I am really, a creative. You are creative, but yes. you can be creative on schedule. <laughs> you want to go there? <laughs> I am on schedule. I don't miss things. I just step on them. <laughs> I don't miss things. So, so we should just let it go. You've got this under control. I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, 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 it was a huge shift for me to, to shift from my, my planner, my pen and paper to the digital. And it's world. a huge shift for me to go from the creative, uh, spontaneous. Never using to, a calendar at all. I know I used a calendar, but, but not like you do. Um, wow. Look at that. We're out of time. Lucky you. Cause you were going to ask, could you use one differently? <laughs> we'll be back right after these messages. You're listening to Angel Nary. This is the Experience Bros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Did you know 50% of people with severe mental disorders are affected by substance abuse? At A New Outlook Counseling Services, they provide a safe healing environment for those suffering with substance abuse, relationship, or mental issues. Robert Johnson is a licensed therapist in long-term recovery and has a master's degree in marriage, family, and child therapy. He offers evidence-based practices backed by research, offering greater success in alleviating symptoms and are effective in overcoming substance abuse. A New Outlook Counseling Services services has over 45 five-star ratings on RateAbiz. They're open six days a week and accept most major insurance and Medicaid. They will also work with families in need on a sliding scale. So don't wait to get the help you need. The healing begins here. New Outlook Counseling Services now at 720-370-5216. 720-370-5216. Or visit the website, HighlandsRanchCounselor.com. That's HighlandsRanchCounselor.com. Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you two. $250. I know it sounds crazy giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325. Or to find out more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. Want to know what's next in the political scene, both locally and nationally? Tune into the AmeriChicks on your drive home every weekday from 5 to 6 p.m. and share your opinions. The AmeriChicks, with hosts Kim Monson and Molly Vogt, encourage open discussion on today's issues and focus on right versus wrong instead of left versus right. Tune into Denver's only female-hosted call-in show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks air every weekday evening at 5 p.m. right here on 1690 AM KDMT, Denver's Money Talk. Sponsored in part by the Western Conservative Summit, July 21st through July 23rd. Get your tickets today. 
You want to relax. You want to feel fabulous. Reduce stress. Pamper yourself. Detoxify your body. You want to visit Me Spa in Belmar Shopping Center. Find out what the ultimate pampering experience feels like. And what better way to do it than for half price. For a limited time, we're featuring a $150 gift certificate for just $75. And the only place you'll find it is on DenverHalfPrice.com. Me Spa is an award-winning day spa that will offer you a soothing place to put your life on pause. Become the very best version of you by spending time pampering yourself and unwind from that stressful work week at Me Spa. Find out what the ultimate pampering experience feels like and what better way to do it than for half price. That's a $150 certificate for just $75. And you can find it only on DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. The Denver Business Journal and Colorado Business Roundtable present a unique CEO panel event, View from the Top. Join them on Friday, July 11th at History Colorado as they talk with some of Denver's best-known CEOs to explore challenges, opportunities, and lessons learned featuring Jackie Hinman, CEO of CH2M, John Hayes, CEO of Ball Corporation, and Mike Fries, CEO of Liberty Global. Go to cobrt.com slash view from the top to register. View from the Top, July 11th at Colorado History, starting at 7.30 a.m. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Do you think your business can survive the constant storm cycle? You know that half of most businesses don't even make it through till their fifth year. If you're not careful navigating the storms that the market and fate throws at you, you could cycle right out of existence, says our guest, Dave Hobson. He's the managing partner at the information technology consulting firm, Triumphus and also author of the book, Surviving the Business Storm Cycle, How to Weather Your Business's Ups and Downs. You can actually find him online at DaveHopson.com. Dave, welcome to Experience Pros. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so a lot of times people think that the backbone of their business is sales. Or maybe they'll say customer service because they've been listening to the Experience Pros radio show. But you have a different view on that. What do you say it is? I think there's a triangle that's the backbone of our business, which is our people, our process, and our technology. And if any one of those get out of whack and we're going through a revenue growth or a revenue down cycle, that will cause us to fail or at least go through some miserable times. All right. But but Dave, you got uh, technology and people. What could possibly go wrong? (laughs) <laughs> or more likely, maybe it should be what can possibly go right. Right. So, so uh, we often build our our processes and our technology for a certain level of company that we're at. So, for instance, we're a fifty thousand dollar company or a five million dollar company, but the processes that work at fifty thousand with the people and the technology we have don't often work at five million or fifty million. And we tend to forget that when we get in a high growth stage, we just grow, 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 and we outgrow our ability to deliver. You know, and we've seen that. We've seen that personally. We've seen that in lots Absolutely. of different businesses. And so which comes first? Do you do you prepare and and invest in the technology for this multi-million dollar company? Or do you work with what you have? And how, I mean, how do you know when to make those shifts in technology? Or even in people, adding more people to the team so we're not we're not overworking them. I think the key now that we can do that we couldn't do 20 years ago is build scalable systems and processes so that when we add people, we're not changing our culture a lot. Mm-hmm. So that we can build those systems that will handle our $50 million company when we're a million-dollar company. The cloud and cloud computing and the ability to use software as a service and add things as we need them allows us to do a lot more than we used to could to plan for that. But if you didn't get to it, all of a sudden you hit the market instantaneously and you have some wonderful new product or a new market that just takes off. That just means we have to hold the reins a lot tighter to keep that from getting out of control. So that if we add our new systems to catch up, 
we don't outrun our ability to deliver that customer service you brag about so often, mm. as well as the right product at the right time. Our guest is Dave Hobson, and he is the author of Surviving the Business Storm Cycle, How to Weather Your Business's Ups and Downs. You are certain to have those, that's for sure. But Dave, what if we just like to not rock the boat? Can't we just do a little smooth sailing? Well, smooth sailing, it it might be nicer a little bit, but as you know, with with a company, you're either growing or you're contracting. There's not really just kind of riding the fence. If you ride the fence for much, you're going to get taken over by someone who's competing with you, this hungry or this pushing. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think riding the fence is possible. You know, and and I think that a lot of times, you know, when we think about riding the fence, you know, we just don't, we don't want the drama, we don't want the, you know, these big investments. But our businesses, the the marketplace is constantly changing, which right. is why the book "Surviving the Business Storm Cycle," our business will go through ups and downs. And Dave, this is the part that I think that most business owners aren't prepared for. They're not prepared for the downs. We think it's going to go up and then go up and it's going to scale, but it really is rather turbulent. And just because your business, there's a downside where maybe you have to reinvest in some processes or people or, or technology, just because there's some downside that doesn't necessarily mean the sky is completely falling or that the bottom's falling out from under you. It's part of the process. Yes. Correct. Uh, That's why I look at it like a cycle. In fact, all companies go through this constantly. The really good ones have managed to keep it so that they're in the down cycle a very short period of time. A a perfect example is Apple. Everybody loves to brag about Apple, so we will here as well. All right. If you think about it, every time an iPhone starts to lose its sales process and it's dropping in sales, all of a sudden there's a new one fixing to hit the market. Well, what did they do? They were in a tornado, they had the right processes and stuff to support it, they could deliver the product, and when it started losing market share, well, let's introduce a new one. That way we don't have to go through a big consolidation phase and and we'll just just roll a new one out, and then we'll have a whole new tornado. And that's exactly what strong companies do. They plan for that down cycle, and they have their next product ready to go. Yeah. And and people, the consumer, will, will gravitate towards the shiny. They do. They always do for that Absolutely. and having something you know kind of on its coattails and always planning ahead to know that the new shiny is going to fade off of this one something prepared or even as we cycle through you know our technology we've got to have something and always be looking ahead and i think that when businesses start to struggle they think well let's just go back let's go back let's let people go let's go back to the old ways let's scale back but really, this is where it's it's you know full steam ahead, and we've got to you know power through into into the next cycle. Do you agree with that, Dave? Yes, I do. And and you know you don't have to have a whole new product either. Maybe you push it to a new market. Um, a valve company I worked with here in Houston, when the oil turn turned down on us and uh, they didn't have as many sales, what they ended up doing was was going to the wastewater market. There wasn't any sales in oil, so they went to wastewater. Just just because your market turns down on you and forces you into consolidation phase doesn't mean you have to live there. You just have to get creative. So they didn't lay off a lot of people. They didn't get rid of a lot of technology. They just moved to a new market. So if, if, the, if your consolidation phase is caused by your company outrunning your ability to deliver, well, then you quickly consolidate and get back out there. But if the market causes a consolidation phase because the entire market has dropped, then you find a new market and you find it quickly and you chase it hard. Uh, you know, the, I can't argue with any mm-hmm. of that. That is as solid as it comes. Folks, go pick up a, uh, a case of uh, books, Surviving the Business Storm Cycle, <laughs> How to Weather Your Business's Ups and Downs, and uh, and share them with every entrepreneur you've ever met because this is solid. Um, and Dave, where would you like our listeners to connect with you on? I have a website up to, to hear about their thoughts about this crazy cycle. It's at DaveHopson.com. That's Dave, H-O-P-S-O-N.com. And there's also an assessment up there. If you're curious where you are in the cycle, I have a, a quick assessment that will help you figure out where you are and a white paper you can download that will tell you what steps you should be thinking about right now, giving where you are in the cycle. Love it. Well, yeah, I love that. Very, very solid. We appreciate you for joining us today. Thanks for your time, Dave. 
thank you. All right. Folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk after the bottom of the hour news. Listener Nick says, sup, Wings. Sup, Nick. All right. We'll be back right after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. Lars Larson believes Obamacare was a death sentence. Because of the mandates, they were sold a plan that cost them so much in premiums. Some of those people likely looked at that and said, well, I'm going to go to the doctor as little as I possibly can. People don't go to the doctor. The condition they had was serious. They don't get early treatment. And then either it costs a whole lot more money to fix it or it doesn't get fixed at all because you die. The Lars Larson Show, weeknights at 8 on Money Talk, 1690 AM. If you're a sleep apnea sufferer who's on the go, go to your phone. Because if you give us a call right now, you'll be able to try the world's first portable mini CPAP device absolutely risk-free for 10 restful nights. It's the Transcend Mini CPAP, an engineering marvel that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. Its unique design is so small and so light, you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. No more dragging around a big, bulky CPAP. Even better, now you can try Transcend absolutely risk-free for 10 restful nights by calling minicpap.com, 1-800-900-1672. Transcend is FAA compliant, too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. You can also add a battery pack that's as tiny as a deck of cards. So now you can enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. But don't wait. To receive your 10-night in-home trial, call minicpap.com now, 1-800-900-1672. That's 1-800-900-1672. Get ready for the Brakes Plus Jet Car Nationals and Family Festival, Saturday, July 1st at Vandermeer Speedway. Enjoy drag racing, games, rides, live music, and a special troop salute to honor our brave men and women serving America. You'll have the best seat in Colorado for fireworks, set to inspirational and patriotic music. And don't forget the incredible power and speed of jet cars flying down the track at nearly 300 miles per hour. The Brakes Plus Jet Car Nationals and Family Festival, Saturday, July 1st. Get discounted tickets at the Vandermeer Speedway box office or at Vandermeer.com. Hi, this is Dave Anthony. Tune in to the Retirement Income Planning Show Saturday at 8 a.m. to learn about how you can create an efficient and optimized retirement income plan that looks at your investments, taxes, health care, Social Security, Medicare, home equity, and estate planning needs. Learn about the math and science that goes into creating a truly comprehensive retirement income plan that could save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement. Call 800-868-9585. Again, that's 800-868-9585 or online at theretirementincomeshow.com. The boys of summer are here with in-depth coverage on the Orioles, Blue Jays, and Cardinals here in the Rockies. Well, not Cardinals, but if you want the play-by-play and the bird's eye lowdown on these and more wild birds, tune in to Bird Talk on 1690 KDMT Saturdays from noon to one. You don't need to make folks think we're a sports show just to get their attention. In Colorado, 60% of the population feeds and watches outdoor wildlife. Bird Talk is presented by Wild Birds Unlimited, the original backyard bird feeding 
specialists. To learn more about the 500 species of Colorado birds, tune into Bird Talk every Saturday. We'll bring you interesting interviews, the latest news, and lots of fun and entertainment. Call in with your questions, and we'll help you create the best backyard wildlife habitat to attract the greatest variety of species. We hope you'll join us for the best nature show in the known universe. Saturdays at noon for Bird Talk on KDMT, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. Until then, happy birding. Keep our schedule full, seasonal incentives? Oh, yeah. Hi, Dan Cicchini, Dunright Home Improvements. Now is the time to call and save a full 12% off all services for select install needs. 800-362-8370 or drhi.com. Psst, it's me, your heart. High blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Just treat me better. After all, we're in this together. To get your high blood pressure to a healthy range, visit heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. The Experience Pros Radio Show. Digital Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 FanBrag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us. Stuff happening all around. And a shout out to our listener, Nick, and his wife. They are pre- there for baby number two. And how, how preparing? They're going to the hospital tonight. They are. They oh are. my gosh. Congratulations. So, oh, babies are the best. They're absolutely. Kind of rest- We're super excited for them. Restore our faith in humanity, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, those babies are so, oh, so yeah. cute. Congratulations yeah. to. Nick Absolutely. and your beautiful, your beautiful family. Yeah. All right, let's talk. We've been talking a little bit about the calendar and and Angel, Eric into using a calendar and being productive, and and I think that there is an element where where you can swing the pendulum too far, where everything is so super structured. Sure. So I'm guessing, Eric, you're not going to like. I I I got this tool. You got a tool. I got a tool. Is it me? <laughs> so her, from nicole nicole montez oh i like nicole montez it has this tool that you take your you've got your whole week mm. and and it's broken down into 30 minute segments from 6 30 a.m to 11 p.m because that's that's her day 6 right. 30 a.m to 11 p.m but you take your entire day and you break it down into 30 minute increments and and every block is filled in i got that i mean i could do that okay you don't got that but <laughs> but all right we'll wow. play Folks, right? you should have seen the look you <laughs> right, shot right. Me. he don't got that so so you take in every 30 minutes there there is scheduling so and you look at you and you plan it your entire week sunday to saturday yeah and in there is your playtime i think as entrepreneurs you have to schedule your playtime, your right. downtime when you are not working. Now, if you're not an, uh, if you're not the kind of I fill in everything I'm with work kind of person, right. and you put your playtime in, and then some of the work you treat it like a hobby, this is not the method for you. Okay, right. But as an entrepreneur who are we are all working no play, you've got to schedule in some downtime, some time when you are when you're working out. Maybe when you're having lunch with friends, when right. you're watching a movie, like when you're having just some time away from work and celebrating some other relationships in your life besides your work relationships. I would love some of those. You got to put it in the I calendar. I would love even one. Where you got to put it in the calendar, <laughs> right? When yeah. is it in the calendar right. that you're hanging out with friends yeah. and uh, or family and working on some of the other relationships that aren't business relationships? And I like to do this in a color-coded because then I can see, you know, if blue is all work and pink is all play, you know, that there's a nice little balance. And a part of that, you're laughing at me. I, well, I am because I just put it together. Nicole Montez, color code, the calendar. It's that's the that's the big ass calendar that you carry around, isn't it? No, I don't carry a big one around. Yeah, oh, no, 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 don't you don't you don't play ignorant with me. It's the big calendar. Well, it's the one you can't carry because it's so big. Because it's so big. So so you color code it so you see. And here 
you know, one of the benefits to that is truly being present where you're at. Do you ever, I don't know, you probably don't feel this way, but, That's right, okay. but you know, a lot of times for moms, when we're at work, we feel guilty. We think we should be at home with right. our kids. And when yeah. we're with our kids, we're feeling guilty. There's all this work that has to get done. By color coding and putting all of these times in, right. then you can truly be present. I know I'm going to work all day, but I've got this one hour where it's just me and my kids tonight and we're doing, and I'm not texting. I'm not working on a report. I'm not doing a client call. This is my time with them. So I can truly be present with them and with whatever else you're or in whatever else in yes. the 30 minute increments yes and yeah. so in the 30 minute increments and so you schedule out your entire day and it includes what it's listener nick he's gonna get me in trouble i'm listening i'm fighting to listen i am actually participating but listener nick is probably swerving off the road right now because he is being bad Nick is being bad. I thought yeah. Nick's wife was having a baby. He's How bad soon. can he be? Well, he's it's not yet. Oh, that's so, tonight. They're so going to the hospital. Tonight. I really am listening. And Please don't meantime, fault this against me. Listener Nick is a dead man. He just doesn't know it. Did you hear that, Nick? Mm-hmm. Did you hear that, Nick? Yeah. All right. So, so for the kind of people that all day long you're checking email and then you're going back to phone calls and then you're coming back here and then you're working on that, this doesn't work for you. Right. Right. Because you are you're constantly, scattered. yes. Right. So it puts in, this is the time that I'm checking my emails and I'm responding to emails. This is the time that I'm working on my projects. Right. And so you, it's to work smarter, not harder. Now, if the idea of scheduling your entire day, your entire week in 30 minute increments freaks you out and you just kind of go, oh, that just sounds like too much work. Yeah. You're not, you're not going to have to do this all the time. It's really a project that helps you to zone in on why am I not being productive? Yeah, where, where, where is your time going? Where it, it's yeah. kind of like getting to the end of the month and going, where'd all my money go? Sure. Right. You just keep track of every single penny and you, you know, Dave Ramsey suggests, you know, spending every penny before the month starts. So you know where it's going to go. This is kind of the same idea. Spending every minute before the week starts. Right. So you know where it's going to go. Now, I like to put in a little white space in my day. So I'm not rushing sure. around. And if one thing runs late or I get stuck in traffic, the whole thing doesn't fall apart. And so you can allow for some some blank space, some white space in some buffer into into your day. But I promise you, there really are enough hours in a day for everything that you need to do. I, I believe that. And, and um, yes, it's a little daunting to actually go through the calendar and plan ahead the every hour of every. Yeah. Of the entire day. Of the entire day so or even put, of the entire work day. I'm trying to give you a little. Right. You, you, this is daunting. The, the visual. Do you remember the I guy? get a new sticky on my computer. Do you have three now? I do. What's the third one? Connect five. What's that? Connect five people. Oh, okay. So do you remember the lesson of the big mayonnaise jar where the professor takes the rocks? Yes. And if he fills it with all the little rocks, Room for, no big room rocks. for the big rocks. But if you put the big rocks in and the big rocks are identifying your, your main priorities. Then you get the little rocks then and then you get, you get the, the stones rocks. and yes. then you get the pebbles and then you get the sand and then you can pour the water. Yeah, next to it is either two cups of coffee or two glasses of beer. Yeah. Because no matter how busy you are, there's, there's always, always time for, for coffee, coffee and beer. Or a glass of coffee. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Right? And so you identify the most important tasks. And so when you're scheduling out and blocking out your week and you're planning every minute before the week starts, Parts, you put in the most important tasks. So this begs the question, what are my most important tasks? If we don't know, then we're going to be scattered True. in willy nilly. And we're going to get to the end of the week and go, I was busy, but I wasn't productive. Right. I'm going to get to the end of the month and I didn't hit my sales targets. I didn't hit my work goals. I didn't exercise. I didn't spend any time with friends and family. I didn't do the things I wanted to do. I promise you there is enough time in your day to do the things you need to do. I will do my best at working on that. What does that mean to you? I will start with one day during the work day, filling in the 30 minute intervals. So it's just, it's just a, it's just a, uh, 
Rather than starting at 7 a.m. An activity. I Wait, I'm not telling you to go 6 30. This is her day. That's right, her day. Then this is how she kind of figured out the important things. And am I, because if you're saying I can't get it all done, then you probably don't know how you're spending your time. You are the master. I am the master you are of the my master. own time. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. So once you get in those big rocks, those main priorities, there are going to be some things you're going to have to say. They don't fit. Right. I don't have time for that. These could be the things that maybe they shouldn't be on your to-do list. Maybe they're things you need to delegate. Maybe they're just not that. You kind of get to make the, you make the, you get to add the value to the items that are on your day. You know, non-consequential is sleeping seven to eight hours a night. Hygiene. You know, some <laughs> some activity Please. during the day, yeah, yeah. some quality family time or some downtime at the end of the day around your workday. And maybe you're the kind of person that likes to work late at night or you work in chunks of time. But then, you know, I'm going to work for a chunk of time in the morning. Then I'm going to go and have this long lunch. Or I'm going to go play golf. But then I'm going to come back and I've got this chunk of time. And then I'm having dinner with friends. And then I'm going to come back and I've got this chunk of time. Right? And you get to chunk it together how you, you want your perfect day to look. And maybe that's it. You just start with what do I want it to look like? What would my perfect right. week look like? Besides on a beach with a cabana boy. Thank you very much. And an umbrella in my drink. Nicole. Montez, mm -hmm. Nicole K. Montez .com. Be brave, fearless, and free. We'll be back right after these messages, and I am going to take listener Nick to task. Ooh. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Message and data rates may apply. Would you rather get your degree from one of the most innovative online universities in the country or one of the nation's most affordable? How about both? Now you can at Southern New Hampshire University. Get degree information and see how to apply online by texting the word FRESH to 554433. College tuition is skyrocketing making getting a degree almost impossible for too many, but it doesn't have to be that way. Founded in 1932, Southern New Hampshire University has the credibility of a New England campus, but by offering programs online, we've made education incredibly accessible and affordable. You'll discover knowledge and skills from instructors who are leaders in their field. Plus, you get all the flexibility, support, and encouragement needed to prepare you for the career you've always wanted. Southern New Hampshire University. See yourself succeed. Grab your smartphone and do the smart thing. Get degree information and see how to apply online by texting FRESH to 554433. That's F-R-E-S-H to 554433. Do you own a small business? Do you want free access to the biggest business networking event of the year? Check out Small Business Expo. It's free to attend and features more than 25 free business workshops, panel discussions, speed networking sessions, business card showcase, and over 100 exhibits. Gain leads and network with business experts, including Allstate, Wells Fargo, and Zip Local. There's something for everyone at the Small Business Expo. The Small Business Business Expo is the largest and most anticipated business-to-business -business networking event, trade show, and conference for business owners, entrepreneurs, and decision makers. If you're serious about your business, this expo is a must-attend event. Startups and business owners can take advantage of free admission and educational workshops covering online, social media marketing, employee benefit plans, credit and financing, strategies for increasing revenue and team productivity, mentoring, cloud technologies, retirement plans, and much more. Don't miss the Denver Small Business Expo at the Denver Convention Center on Thursday, June 22nd from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Register for free today at thesmallbusinessexpo.com. That's thesmallbusinessexpo.com. Be there. Hi, this is Oren, owner of Absolutely Cabinets. Since 1989, I've sold Aristocrat cabinets for kitchens and baths, and they have proven year in and year out to be a great dollar value. With Aristocrat, you can buy the level of cabinetry you feel comfortable with in regard to construction. If you want all the features without making a decision, I sell Decora, which is a semi-custom line of cabinets with solid wood fronts, dovetail drawers, full extension glides, with soft clothes automatically on the drawers and doors. From basic up, I can put you into cabinetry that will fit all your wants and needs. Thanks to all my repeat and referrals. 
several customers over the years. Go visit Orin's Showroom at 5940 West 38th Avenue near the corner of Harlan and 38th Avenue. Or give them a call at 303-425-5592. That's 303-425-5592. Or visit AbsolutelyCabinets.com. New store hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to noon on Fridays. In the summer, it's hot in the upstairs bedrooms most of the day. Our office is up there and it's sweltering. We've used one of those big fans in the evening, but it pulls in too much dust and pollen. The AC ran constantly, yet the only cool place in the house is the basement. My husband started insisting we buy a new air conditioner, and that's when I called the people at AirSwap. AirSwap showed me my furnace and air conditioner are the right size for my house, and my air conditioner was working just fine. They adjusted our ductwork, created stronger airflow to distribute all that cool air in the basement. And this even helped us save electricity. The house is more comfortable in the winter as well. They reduced the big temperature difference between the floors, and now the upstairs is comfortable during the day and early evening. Call them at 303-761-0729, on the web at air-swap.com. 303-761-0729 or air-swap.com. Does your kitchen or bathroom need some updating? Well, now is a great time to get started. I'm Ted Spear, co-owner of All About Cabinets and Countertops at 35th and Wadsworth. And I'm inviting you to join our growing list of customers who have saved thousands of dollars on their kitchen and bathroom projects, even over those big box stores. Come experience our unique mix of top-of-the-line customer service, quality products, and tremendous value. Through July 4th, we are extending all our current specials and upgrades, which will save you up to $1,500 on your cabinet and countertop purchases. Plus, it is an additional bonus, we are upgrading all our cabinet doors to the latest in anti-slam technology for free. These are just a couple of the ways you can complete your project for less than you ever thought possible. Let us go to work for you. You can visit our showroom or call us today, 303-456-6400. That's 303-456-6400. Also, to view all our current specials, visit our website at allaboutgreatdeals.com. Make a difference without the expense with All About Cabinets and Countertops. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. This is America's home for positive business talk, and we are thankful that you've tuned in. Yes, indeed. It's been a lively program, and uh, listener next to it just fine. We, uh, <laughs> You but know, he sure had your attention during that entire no, last segment. No, you and so had Eric, my Eric, I did not have your attention. Eric says, "Angel, when I'm having conversation with Nick, you just gotta let that go." We have to have a sign. I'm like, "I'm um, sorry, we're working here. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're the reason you're sitting in that seat with those it's, headphones it's and that microphone, it's interactive radio, is that we're having a conversation. We're doing a radio show, and you're not just." Having, but apparently we have an audience of one right now, and that's all for you, Nick. Uh, um, he, he had so, to leave. so glad that he. Oh, he had to leave. So now yeah. I'm talking to him, and he's not even there. That's correct. Oh, geez. you need to go through me if you want to talk to listener Nick. Oh, are you his handler now? I have job you, security. You want to see Nick? You go through <laughs> me. You're like bodyguard. Oh okay. my goodness. Oh my goodness is right. Well, I think uh, we're trying to be productive. Trying to keep you on track on your business day. Let's talk a little bit about customer service. Customer service. Customer service. That's the department that you call when things go wrong. That's the place where you return defective merchandise. That's the thing that died in the 60s, right? You know what, Eric? I I am shocked these days still at how people each other mistreat customers as if they are an inconvenience as if they are in the way they're a burden they're a problem they're a nuisance they're an enemy right there and they are not like they're criminals they are the ones who sign your paycheck people the reason your doors are open your lights are on and your internet is working is because you have customers that's why you're in business is to is to trade value services product for dollars from customers not just your own internal like we could just do business with each other right, right? i could sell something to you eric you buy it for me and hey, we can just do that all day long growing right but it's our customers that keep us in business and 
to, I mean, every day, all day long, Eric and I are on the receiving end of of news about poor customer poor service. Poor customer service. Right. And, and I guess it's, you know, for such a time as this, we have been appointed for that because we stand for great customer service and people love to contrast things uh, and, and give us an idea of, of how they value our presence in the marketplace because it, we, we're so desperately needed because they are having bad experiences. But it still, it still happens. Yeah. It's, and so we do what we can to, to shine the light on good customer service, to teach good customer service, to emphasize the value right. of it, give you tips on how to offer better customer service because without your customers, you don't have a business. You have a hobby. This week got a, uh, from, uh, from somebody local here, uh, just a bad customer service, uh, experience, experience. Yeah. right? But here was what, it was not only a bad, a bad job. Like they did a bad job on the service they were supposed Correct. to provide, yeah. but then they had a bad attitude. About the, the service the, that they the were supposed to provide. The owner of the provide. business uh, denied the the complainant. Right, even though day before knew exactly oh, what what oof. that issue was. Right, the, the yeah. owner described it as the yeah. perfect storm. Yes, so so knew there was a problem, but then in denial, and so you get bad bad product on with, top of with bad attitude yeah. equals bad review. Absolutely, right? and so now this company can no longer be publicly referred to. They they now will probably be on the receiving end of of a negative review, which I always say, go to the go to the vendor and try and make it right before right. you put your brand out there in a which negative in review. In the case of this story, that's exactly what the customer did. Right. So, you know, before I go and leave a bad review, I got to talk to you. This happened though this week. This week. Hey, and think about how viral. I mean, with a with an Instagram picture, oh, with goodness. a tweet, with a video. Yeah. Oh. We cannot afford to be so cavalier about our customer service. And an Instagram picture would tell a thousand a words. A thousand words. On this case. But the but they don't care. Right. This is this is the downside is you don't care. And so, then So what do you do when something goes wrong? Let let's uh for a minute. When something goes wrong, you've got to be able to listen to what your customer is saying. You know, sure, are there some people who take advantage of the system? Sure there are. But more often is the case where they are not trying to take advantage of them. They're just trying to get the value on their deal, right? So you, uh, you you listen to them, and then you do your very best to make it right. Now, when I was talking to the customer that you're talking about, uh, he said making it right would have been done right the first time. Agreed. But we don't live in a perfect world, and everyone, including this customer, understands that. So what's the next thing that you do? If, somebody, if you're listening to somebody and you try to make it right and you do your very best in order to make it right, and the, the guest is still not buying in. What's the lifetime value of a guest? Throw down your momentary transaction expense, the cost of having to do over, and realize that doing over in order to salvage a lifetime value of a, of a customer is way better than uh, losing all of it. Right. Well, so... At the very beginning of our first, uh, or at the very beginning of this hour, we talked about our hashtag kindness act of the day yes, is to buy from a kid's lemonade stand. And not just buy from a lemonade stand, but throw down a Benjamin. Let's create an right. entrepreneur and make somebody's day. And so everybody's on board with that, right? Love that. Want to be generous, help somebody out, lift up, you know, do something great for the kids, create an entrepreneur, and it would all happen you know, with as easy as a hundred bucks, right? right? So we get the value, of right? Course. I can pour in to somebody and help with their future for a hundred bucks, right? hundred bucks, easy, right. done. You got a customer who has an issue and it would not cost a hundred dollars to fix it. Nope. And yet you kind of hold on to your principal. Well, if I do that for you, I have to do that for everybody. And if I do that and we get all snarky, we get our scarcity mindset and we just hold tight to what? A hundred dollars? Maybe $20 because that's what you would have right? lost. The, okay. Right? But you, just 10 minutes ago, willing Absolutely. to invest yep. right? in the community, but in now our future. You've made an enemy who has social media accounts and in a web point two society 
uh, and, and by the way, we're talking about them. We're, we're keeping the names out of the conversation, but we're talking about them because it really does happen. Shoo! On that note, we're going to come back and do it all over again tomorrow. Wait, let me check my calendar. Are we doing it tomorrow? <laughs> we are doing it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Thank you for tuning in to the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business...